Derby is a borough in Delaware County, Pennsylvania, United States, along Derby Creek 5 miles southwest of downtown Philadelphia. Derby was settled about 1654 and inhabited by Quakers early in the colonial era. Incorporated on March 3, 1852, it had 3,429 residents in 1900, 6,305 in 1910, 10,334 in 1940, and 10,687 at the 2010 census. The name Derby is derived from the English city of Derby, the county town of Derbyshire, the origin of many early settlers. Comedian and actor W.C. Fields was Hello everyone, this is Emily from Fun in Springfield. Today's episode is about Abraham Lyndon Pennock House in Upper Darby, PA, in the Springfield area. Pennock's family cared for fugitive slaves. He founded an anti-slavery newspaper, The Non-Slaveholder, advising people not to buy slave-made products lest they become slave owners, a self-officiating man with widespread influence, now a library. Abraham Lyndon Pennock, sir, was born in Philadelphia, August 7, 1786. For 30 years, he resided in that city. Engaged in business, first as a dry goods merchant. The firm being Pennock and Robbins, and afterwards in the wire business of the firm of Sellers and Pennock. Here he was the originator of the riveted hose, the superiority of which over the sewed method enabled the firm to bring it into universal use and caused the United States government to enter its contract with them for the making of all mail bags used in its service. In 1840, he retired from business and moved to Hartford Township. Subsequently, he undertook the care of a number of estates. In the fall of 1845, he moved to Upper Darby Township, where he remained until his death on May 12, 1868. He was permanently a man who had the courage of his convictions. When slavery was advocated in the South as a divine institution and apologized for it in the North, he would neither use the products of slave labor nor allow his family to do so. Preferring at greater expense and trouble to procure goods elsewhere, his entire life he was exemplified with high ideas and he was ready to aid the temperance cause with purse or pen. He erected at his own expense a temperance inn for the accommodation of travelers in order to forestall the building of one already begun where liquors were to be sold. The poet John Greenleaf Whittier wrote of him, he was my friend and counselor in the dark and troubled times of 1838, 39, and 40. A man of antique heroism against whom the bitterest enemies of freedom could find nothing to urge. I think he came near to my ideal of a true Christian gentleman than anyone else I ever knew. He was a zealous advocate of abolitionism, active in the Pennsylvania anti-slavery 
Society and made his country home an underground station for runaway slaves. At the Darby meeting of the Society of Friends on May 24, 1810, he received certification to marry, doing so on June 7, 1810. To Elizabeth Sellers, daughter of John and Mary Coleman Sellers of Philadelphia. She was born on August 26, 1791 in Philadelphia and died June 18, 1870. The original woodland was built by John Sellers in 1823. The home burned down and was reconstructed in 1878. The estate was home to one of the area's well-known abolitionists from the pre-Civil War era. Abraham L. Pendock Woodland remained in the Pendock Sellers family until Sarah Pendock Sellers bequeathed it to Upper Darby Township for a library when she died in 1933. Today, Woodland is still the home of the Township Cellars Memorial Library. This prominent abolitionist and patron of the arts received here at Holland until his death in 1868. The home had been built in 1823 by his father-in-law, John Sellers II, a leader in Pennsylvania anti-slavery society. Abraham Pennock also was an advocate of women's suffrage and active in the temperance movement. Notable visitors to his home included John Greenleaf Whittier and James Russell Lau. So this is the building that's now a library.